about diversity in Singapore, we typically associate diversity with religion, ethnicity and language. Increasingly, the diversities that we see around us are being complicated but also enriched by globalisation as well as digital technologies. We are beginning to see new forms of diversities along the lines of, say, nationality, political identity, family structures, as well as sexual identities. This research programme, Managing Diversities, is threefold. Um, it aims to identify and track the developments in diversity um, and understand its implications for national identity, social cohesion, community building and governance with the aim of proposing policy interventions that can help the Singapore government manage diversity as well as to leverage diversities. So we have projects that help us track developments and trends in diversity such as indicators in race, language and religion, projects that help us investigate if there are new identity markers and what might some of these identity markers be. We've just recently completed a project that look at people's practice of religion in public and private sphere. Despite the different types of uh, values and practices that are upheld by different religious communities, what's interesting is that there is a general consensus and agreement among Singaporeans on the kind of behaviours that are expected of religious leaders. Um, that said, one in another interesting finding from the same study is that Singapore youths are more open to religious extremists propagating their views online. We hope to engage different types of modalities to try to bring out what a diverse polity can do for Singapore and various governance issues. So one instance would be the war on diabetes citizens jury that we completed with MOH some time ago. It is um, engagement and deliberative exercise where people are brought together to deliberate on a specific issue over a few sessions. Two things stand out, one of which is that it taps on the diversity and variety of people's experiences and backgrounds. Number two, um, participants in the engagement are also exposed to information which is necessary for their decision making. So at the end of the process, they tap on information as well as their individual experiences and convictions and agree on a common set of proposals to help tackle a policy problem.